Hey guys, Brinker Cooks. It's me, I'm Brinker. Um, wearing my white t-shirt today and my apron. What am I doing? Something in the bakery? Sorta, of, yeah. Uh, there's a request in the house for puff pastry. What do we do? We start with uh, a shoe pastry or a sh uh, pat of shoe, if you will. Uh, what is that? It's flour, eggs, butter, water, milk. Pretty much it. So, what do we need to get started? Well, we need eggs. If you look here, see this bowl of eggs and see that egg has poop on it? Um, why is that? It's because these eggs are fresh. We have 14 hens, or I should say Martha has 14 hens. They live about 75 yards that way. Uh, that's where the coop is, that's where the run is. Uh, they're happy, kind of free-ranging chickens. You don't need to put your farm fresh eggs in the refrigerator if they've not been washed. There's a naturally occurring enzyme that protects those eggs for about two weeks on the counter. So that's why you see the eggs behind me. Anyway, so we have eggs. How many? I don't know if you can see it. We have six eggs that I've cracked and put in the bowl. We have a cup of water plus a cup of milk. We have two cups of flour. We have a teaspoon of salt. And we have two tablespoons of sugar. Uh, the salt and the sugar are in with the liquid. Always treat them like a liquid ingredient. One stick of unsalted butter. That's what we have, that's what we need. Um, bear with me and I'll be right back and show you how to cook it. Hey guys, I'm back. So what have we done? I'm gonna turn the camera down. I'm gonna show you that we brought our milk and our butter and our water to a low simmer. Don't forget sugar and salt. Uh, it's starting to foam up, so I'm gonna turn that off. I'm gonna turn the camera down, show you what happens next. Okay, what do you see? You don't see me, that's probably a good thing. You see a saucepan that has a cup of milk, cup of water, stick of butter, two tablespoons of sugar, teaspoon of salt. Now what am I doing? Two cups of flour. I'm gonna dump that flour in there. I'm just gonna stir it up. You're thinking, what is he doing? Well, just watch. Watch what he's doing. He's gonna make a mess, you saw that. Uh, that's pretty par for the course, so just ask Martha. She does, she does most of the cleaning up. And we're just going to stir that up. We're going to keep stirring that up. We want to get it really incorporated well. We want every little grain of flour to be saturated with the milk and the butter and the water. And now we're going to turn this back on to simmer and that most of the water is uh, absorbed. What are we doing? We're going to heat this until we get just a little film, if you will, in there, and we don't see any dry white flour anymore. And it doesn't stick to the bottom. It's all absorbed. It's going to be a big ball. Almost looks like wallpaper paste. And that's what you want. Or really, really, really bad mashed potatoes. Okay, we're going to turn it back off. You see our lumpy mashed potato mixture, for lack of a better term. If you heard a jingle, that was a dog walking by. I'm going to turn this off and I'll meet you guys at the mixer. Hey, it's me again. So we're back at the stand mixer, or we're over at the stand mixer, whatever. What are we going to do? So we've got the lump of flour, water, butter, milk, all mixed together. It's hot. It's in the stand mixer. I'm going to turn the stand mixer on. I'm going to let it run for a minute or two. Uh, it's going to be noisy. I'm not going to make you guys watch that. I'll come back when I'm putting the eggs in. You can see what I'm doing. So first, Take your stand mixer, run it with just the, the shoe, the flour mixture, flour, water, butter mixture in there. Let it run until it starts to cool off a little bit. Then, uh, then we're going to add eggs. I'll show you. Hang on. So it's a little bit noisy. Um, sorry, stand mixers are. What am I doing? I'm running the stand mixer. I'm letting some of the heat out of the flour, the, the flour paste, if you will, the flour, water, butter paste, the base of the shoe. All we have left to do are add the eggs. There are six eggs here. We're going to add those a couple eggs at a time. Why are we cooling this first? Because we don't want scrambled eggs. Uh, scrambled eggs would just be gross. Hot, hot flour and eggs that are in too soon would just, no. Anyway, hang on, I'm going to turn the camera. Okay. Now you can see what we got going on there. Oh, bounced up a little bit. Sorry about that. So, we're spinning that. We're going to spin that a little faster. We're going to dump in an egg or two. We'll see what we get. Let's go with one. I'm going to let that spin for a little bit. 
let that incorporate, let it kind of cool off a little. Let's put another one in. Okay, we're going to stop. We're going to let that mix. Uh, it's starting to break down. You know, the big lumps are becoming smaller lumps. What we're looking for is silky smooth. That'll happen near the end. Another egg. Starting to come together. Let's turn it up a little bit. And let's go another egg. Okay. Got about an egg and a half left in that bowl. We're going to keep spinning that. We're going to take our, wood, we're going to, we're going to take our wooden spoon. We're going to stir through and make sure we're getting everything off the bottom, which we are. Kind of rake the beaters off, make sure those guys are coming clean. We're going to come back on here. Last egg. I'm just going to let that mix. All right, we're going to take that till silky smooth, and I will see you at the cookie sheets. So I'm back. What am I doing? Oven's going to 400 degrees. Should ding in a second. I have a large disher. You have to click it twice. It's like a test. Every dude does it like with tongs. You can't pick them up without doing that. Anyway, I'm going to turn the camera. What you're going to see is the big bowl of pastry that we just took off of the mixer, which, to remind you, was... The dough that we made on the stove, butter, water, flour, milk, like that. We blended it up with our six eggs, cooled it first, blended it with six eggs, uh, got it nice and gooey, sticky. You want that? You want to develop some of the gluten in the flour because you want your pastries a little tough? Um, I'm going to turn the camera. We'll show you what's going on. First, a word about parchment paper. So, you guys see these half size cookie or half size baking sheet pieces of parchment? One of the greatest things you'll find at Amazon or wherever uh, makes cleanup a snap. So, what am I going to do? I'll show you one. There's no need to show you me laying all these things out. So, we're going to take, uh, take our dough. See? We're going to drop it out there like that. I'm going to fill these sheets up. I'm going to put them in the oven back in a little bit. So what are we going to do with all these when I get them done? Um, I'm going to do cream puffs. I'm going to make a Bavarian cream filling um, or custard filling, one of the two, not sure yet. Something rich with eggs, vanilla, like that. That's how they're best received in the house. My mom used to fill them with chicken salad. They're great filled with tuna salad. They're great filled with whipped cream. It's entirely up to you. You're going to hear me talk about mom quite a bit. You just heard me say mom used to fill them with. Um, it's interesting, when I talk to friends, talk to some of you guys, I hear you say, well, grandma always made this, grandma always made that, but you don't do it. Why not? My mom always made this, she always made that. My mom worked part-time, she took care of the garden, took care of the yard, took care of the kids. My dad worked full-time, plus he farmed. Time was kind of a precious commodity, but she always found time to cook. Um, it was her way to show us that she loved us. You know, if you pan down, maybe she loved us a little too much. Maybe I placed a little too much emphasis on food. But uh, nothing says you have to overeat. That's, that's on me. Which, what you guys really should do, take a little time. Cook as a family. Just cook. It's not hard. Um, what's the worst you're going to do? Waste a couple bucks worth of flour and a stick of butter? Big deal. Give it a shot. Thanks. Hey, guys. So they've been in the oven about 35 minutes. We're gonna yank them out and see what we have here. Hang on just a second. This whole selfie stick thing is new to me while I bend over. Try not to fall head first in the oven. Pull them out. I'm gonna turn so you can see them. Let me straighten them out on the cookie sheet a little bit. Don't want you guys to see the ugly ones. So these are not really huge. You can make them bigger, you can pipe them out. Um, I made these cream puff size, so that's what I'm gonna fill them with is a Bavarian cream. Because again, one of the household members loves them that way. So let me turn this around. There they are. Let's come back up a little bit. Whoops, oh, you fell down. Still there? How's it going? Anyway, there they are. All done, cream puffs. Fill them with sweet stuff, fill them with chicken salad, whatever you want. See ya, Brinker's out.